Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Derek Morris, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Genetics and Genomics degree. Um, congratulations on getting a place in this course. Uh, we, on behalf of my colleagues, we would really uh, look forward to welcoming you, welcoming you on campus in the coming weeks and getting to know you over the weeks, months, and even years ahead. Um, it's been a tough year for everybody, tough 18 months, and especially for yourselves. So well done in putting in all that hard work. Uh, ordinarily, when students come on campus for the first time, it's a mix of nervousness and excitement. There might be a little bit more nervousness this time and less excitement due to the slightly unusual conditions that we have. But um, the message I want to give you today is that we're going to work as hard as possible to make the experience as normal as possible for you. And hopefully your first year at NUI Galway will be a really enjoyable experience. Um, the main focus over the first few weeks of the program is really to just help you settle in, find your way, way around, figure out where your venues are, figure out the online world that you will need to negotiate as well to find all the different learning materials that are that are accompany different elements of the course. Um, there'll be opportunities for you to meet with me during orientation week and in meetings during the early part of the semester. So there'll be plenty of um, time for you to ask questions and, and find out. And again, don't worry, it'll take a little while to settle in, uh, but hopefully after that, uh, you'll get up to speed and begin to enjoy your experience at university. So ahead of orientation week, uh, I'm just posting and I've prepared this short video to just give you a brief overview of what to expect in the course. <laughs> I'll meet you during orientation week and uh, in obviously in the weeks ahead and be able to give you kind of more detail as we go along. So firstly, for the academic year ahead, just to note that once you get into NUIG, um, the course code for your course is 1BGG1. So BGG1 stands for Bachelor of Science in Genetics and Genomics, and the number one indicates it's, it's in year one. So previously, if you've known the course as GY321, it's CAO code, you'll no longer see that code in use now that you're at NUI Galway. And as I said, I'm the, the program director. So in terms of contact information, that's my phone number, office phone number and email, but by far the best way to contact me is by email and I'll get back to you on that day or, or soon afterwards. So any queries that you have, please do uh, drop me a line. Uh, just to give you a brief overview of the academic dates for the year ahead. So obviously with the Leaving Cert results being out kind of slightly late this year, uh, you're starting three weeks after the other kind of second, third, fourth years and postgraduate students have returned to the university. So your semester one is starting on Monday, the 27th of September, and that's going to be week one. And there are 12 weeks of teaching. So that will bring us up to uh, Friday, the 17th of December, which is just before Christmas. So ordinarily, in the early weeks of December, we have semester one ex exams, but because of the late start to semester one for first years, there will be no semester one exams for first years this year. There will be different continuous assessments and assignments and different activities for you to undertake during semester one, but there'll be no formal semester one exams. Then when we return in semester two, um, semester two starts for you as first years and for all the other years of students as well on Monday the 10th of January which again will be week one of semester two and there'll be 12 weeks of teaching which brings us up to Friday the first uh, uh, of April which is the end of week 12. Then there's a kind of a two-week uh, break there's a study week uh, where there's no kind of designated lectures and there's also an Easter break so essentially we've got two weeks off then after that which brings us up to uh, the bank holiday Monday of the Easter weekend which is Monday the 18th of April next year. And then the semester two exams will start on Tuesday, the 19th of April, and they'll run for most of three weeks through to Friday, the 6th of May. So all going well, you'll have all your exams complete by Friday, the 6th of May, and you'll have a long summer ahead of you in 2022. Hopefully there'll be plenty to do and enjoy and things will be less restrictive than they have been this year. And those academic dates are online if you just search NUIG academic dates. Uh, a very useful guide that you will get if you haven't done so already is the first year science academic hand, uh, academic booklet. And in that it has information on all the different programs uh, within uh, the College of Science and Engineering, including the genetics and genomics program. 
the early part of that booklet, there's a section there called Making the Transition to University. Very useful uh, to read and, and take time to look at that. And then you can look up the, the page for genetics and genomics. And then you'll also see then that each of the different modules or subjects that you're going to do uh, also have pages later in the book that tell you a bit about what to expect in terms of when the lectures are, where the lectures are, and uh, when other activities or practicals are, are scheduled, what the um, uh, academic textbooks are, things like that. All that information will be in the, in the academic booklet. So ordinarily in, in normal times, um, students of science are, are usually scheduled to attend different lectures, tutorials, lab, lab practical sessions, computer practical sessions, and field work of no field work in our, in our course, but there are in some other courses. And usually there's attendance at and full engagement with all of these activities, and that's essential. And, and we monitor it. So we see these kind of big lecture theatres packed to the rafters, et cetera, and classrooms full, et cetera. So this year we're hoping to return to something close to this. Um, things uh, ordinary, as best as possible, uh, different uh, lecture theatres will, unlike this picture, be full. And, uh, but there will be a blend of some online delivery as well as on-campus classes. So primarily uh, the plan is to get uh, all students back on campus, but it is possible that um, uh, some of your learning will still happen in an online form. But again, you'll be advised of this and, and given advice on how to, to, to uh, uh, access all the online material, etc. So don't worry about that. But by and large, you will spend a good bit of time on campus. In terms of your curriculum for the year, these are the different subjects uh, that make up the genetics and genomics program in year one. So uh, we refer to uh, all these subjects are broken down into what's called modules. So each module has a code. Uh, we indicate which semester it's in. So semester one is before Christmas, semester two is after Christmas. And then we have this credit weighting so that uh, in, in each year of undergraduate study, you do enough modules to have done 60 credits of, of, of teaching. So your three big modules that you'll undertake this year would be biology, chemistry, and maths. And you can see their module codes there. And for each of those three modules, they run in semester one and in semester two. So you'll do biology all the way through the year, same with chemistry, same with maths. Um, another module that you'll undertake in first year is a computer science module, CS103. And if you haven't done any computer programming before or used a, a computer language program called Python, don't worry, there'll be an introduction to that from the very basics. Uh, so in addition then to those four modules, we've got two modules that are specifically for the genetics and genomics program. So the first one is module called BI1101, and that's called the Introduction to Genetics and Genomics. And you'll see that that runs over semester one and two. So there's one, we, we do one hour a week with you for that module every Friday at 11 o'clock. And that runs through the whole year. So, uh, and then we have a second module called Biomedical Genomics Research and Communication, which we'll tell you about next year when you get into semester two. And that will run after Christmas and again is also worth five credits. Um, so in total, they are all your different uh, subjects and our modules and their module codes. And your aim through the year is to pass each of those via the various exams and assignments that are in place to, to test your learning in those modules. And all modules must be passed before you progress to next year. I'm sure a mark of 40% is well within the reach of all the students. And of course, we'd be looking to you, for you to score much higher and do much better than just 40% of those, which I'm sure you'd be well able to. This at the present time is just a draft of what your timetable is likely to look. So how it works, and this is for semester one, is that your timetable doesn't change much from week to week. So this timetable is what you can expect each week. So for example, you'll see on a Monday at 10 o'clock, you've got CH120, that's your chemistry module. So you've got a lecture at 10 o'clock there, and you'll have a lecture every Monday at 10 o'clock there. You'll have a maths a lecture and workshop in the afternoon on Mondays. You've got uh, a busy Tuesday morning. You've got four lectures in a row from nine until one, and the same then on other days. So you can see that uh, you've quite a bit of time, especially in the morning, uh, assigned to lectures. Uh, you've more free time in the afternoons. Uh, one thing that I've noted there that isn't in place yet is also your practical classes for your biology, for your chemistry, and for your computer science, you're going to have practical classes as well. And these would be classes that would be usually two hours, two hours long, sometimes three hours long. And again, you'll get advised in the early weeks of the semester when those are scheduled. And they, they won't be in the first week. So it might be week two or week three before the practical classes start, and they can slot into your timetable then. So you'll have a reasonably busy week, but there'll also be uh, some free time there as well. So it's about getting to, to know 
everything. And also in time, what we'll do is we'll update this timetable just to confirm the venues, you know, for the lecture theaters where each of these lectures will be. In terms of communication between us as staff and you as students, uh, we're going to introduce you to an online, what's called a virtual learning environment called Blackboard. And you'll get a, it's a web, it's a website, you'll get login details. And on that, then you'll have a page for each of your different modules. And that's where you'll see communications about lecture starting, where the practicals are on, uh, access to lecture notes and recordings of lectures, etc. So <clears throat> over time, you'll get familiar with Blackboard. And that's one of the main ways in which we'll communicate with you. And the other way we'll communicate with you in, in addition to posting messages on Blackboard will be by sending you emails to your new NUI Galway email address. So it's important that you check Blackboard and take, check your NUI Galway email address once you have them to check them regularly. In advance of that, just uh, keep checking the email address that um, has been part of your uh, application. Uh, and then once you're registered at NUI Galway, you'll get access to Blackboard and access to your own NUIG email. And I'll also meet each of you during the first semester uh, for a general chat just to see how you're getting on informal, relaxed, and just uh, we'll touch on a few different things. So what we'll kind of discuss at those meetings is just helping you stay organized, making sure that you're keeping touch with all the academic staff in the university and, and up to date with the teaching that you're looking after yourself, that you're able to utilize any technology that you need to use, especially for any online learning that's happening. That you've set up your own study space and you're comfortable with that you've got all the resources you need to get through the year. Just to advise to be prepared for disruption. So as we head into this year, you know, fingers crossed, everything can stay on campus for, for the full year, but we've learned over the last 18 months to take nothing for granted. So, um, so it is possible we may need to switch online at some point. And it's just to know that those disruptions may happen and that we'll work with you uh, to guide you through how to do that and do everything online. And having delivered all of last year online, we're, we're now comfortable we can do that uh, um, without too much hassle. And overall, we're trying to make everything as normal as possible on campus and hopefully, uh, that will uh, continue to be the case for the full year ahead. So that's the end of my slides. Again, I'm uh, looking forward to having the opportunity to uh, meet with you in the next few weeks at orientation weekend and the weeks after. Again, well done in getting a place in the course. And uh, if anyone has any questions or queries in advance of starting at the university, send me an email to derek.morris at nuigalway.ie. Okay, take care and best wishes.